my name's Matt and welcome back to the shop and today we're talking about something that's very, it's a bit different but it's very very important so today, turn that fucking shit off, we are talking about uh, fractional, fractional distillation so what the fuck is this, uh, fractal, fractional distillation is um, distilling like you do with alcohol and stuff like that um, which is basically just separating and we're doing it fractionally so there's loads of we're not trying to distill two things we're trying to distill a load of things um, but basically fractional distillation uses heat to get crude oil and I've come across crude oil twice now and forget shit to a blanket for that stuff fuck it's horrible uh, and it stinks <laughs> But um, basically, they you know uh, you have oil fields um, under the dinosaurs and all the rest of it, and you drill down and you use the pressure um, of the well to fire it back up and all that kind of lovely gubbins, and then you box it up in Coca-Cola bottles and FedEx it to your fractional dis fractional distillation plant. In reality, you pump it into big barges and uh, big tankers, and they take it. Now all these fractional distillation plants are generally by the coasts because that's where the sea is and that's where the ships that are bringing it to you are so that's generally how that works. But basically all it is is it's a big tower and you have loads of storage tanks and all the rest of it but it's a big tower and it has um, a heat source at the bottom you know your flames or whatever and uh, at the bottom it's around about I think it's 350 if I remember right and at the top you're getting down to about 25 degrees C and what you do is is you pump in your crude oil so it goes through a bit of a filtration system they try and you know um, separate the water out of it and so on um, but your oil eventually ends up going in here at the bottom it's a very complicated process there are some additives that are added uh, I think it's a bit of what did they add? They add something in it to try and reduce the sulphur content. And anyway, we'll try and actually go to a fractal distillation plant. That might be a good video in the future because this is important. You know, this is where our, all our fuel comes from. But basically, what they do is they pipe off uh, fractions. They pipe off certain sections, certain divisions at certain heights up this tower. The reason why is because it's hot at the bottom and it's cool at the top and the lighter, more volatile um, molecules will literally float to the top. They're smaller and um, their boiling points and all the rest of it are a lot lower. And basically you end up streaming off here at the top, you end up getting stuff like butane, uh, propane, stuff like that, that's at the top. They're really light, uh, gas gaseous atmospheric pressures stuff like that at low temperatures they obviously float in a sense to the top then you get stuff like um, naphtha um, and then you get oh I'm sorry I'm just going blank here uh, naphtha then you get kerosene sorry that's it kerosene your kerosene and then you get your petrols gasolines petroleum well petrols gasoline all the rest of it um, then you get your diesels and then at the bottom you get stuff like bitumen 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 at the bottom basically that's tar that's the shit you mix with stones gravel and all the rest of it to make tarmac um, so you can see as they go down they get thicker and thicker and thicker so you can if you've ever seen diesel it is thicker than petrol you can see it's, it's got high viscosity and you know in in here and stuff you have all your jet um, not your jet fuels you know your ship fuels all your oils and stuff like that um, and a lot of your plastic products come from this region down uh, near to the bottom um, but yeah, you can see that basically the, the more volatile things are, they go to the top. The thicker and sludgier, more like oils they are, they go to the bottom. So these are uh, volatiles. <sighs> Fucking not. Do you know what? I'm just not going to bother. <laughs> Spelling today. Fucking. They're your volatiles towards the top, and these are your less volatile compounds and molecules that go to the bottom. 
Um, and basically that's it. That's all you are doing. You can actually do, and we will do. I will get some crude oil and we will separate it. Now, one thing I must quickly mention is that, so you fill this with crude oil, give it a boil, and then just start straining off. How do you know where one ends and one doesn't? That's a good point. You don't. What you do is you just keep on pumping crude oil in. So you keep on pumping crude oil in, and as some of this is, you know, extracted, there are other molecules that will come in as they are rising towards the top and replace it. Um, so you start it up, you get it up to temperature, then you let the taps out. All of these things are then siphoned off and go to filtration and... Um, uh, where they check it, you know, quality control, stuff like that. And then they then send that off to either individual labs and tanks that are on site or they can actually send it off to someone. Generally, they do it on site. So on a site, you you can have like three or four different companies or maybe just Shell owns this entire plant. It depends who's doing what um, and what you're doing it for. Because like I say, Shell and BP, they have no need for some of these, you know, they sell petrol and diesel direct to the public, where other products, um, butane, propane, kerosene, and what they use for av gas, stuff like that, these have to either be treated on plant or actually, you know, tanked away to somewhere else so they can get treated um, by somebody else. Yeah. Anyway, hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.